Henshaw, president of Catawba Valley Community College, and this is Hawk Talk. And today I'm honored to be here with one of the first graduates of this great college, Mr. Michael McCree, graduated in 1962. And Michael, you are the legacy of uh, what we do and you're representing, I think you said 28 others that were in class with you. Uh, how did you first get engaged with the Catawba County Industrial Education Center back then? I think it might have been Mr. Papp came to the high schools and, and gave talks on the school and the fact that high school students could come here. Yeah, and Mr. Papp was a one-person show as the yeah. first president of the college. He, he and a secretary. Yeah, and the, so they had to do everything. What, what do you think um, was the catalyst behind your success as a student when you first uh, entered into the college back then? <laughs> I guess I had a knack for it. Everybody's got one, you just have to find it. There you go, perfect. And, perfect. I, and I had, that was one of the things mom and dad did. I had Tinker Toys, uh, Erector Set, and Lincoln Logs. And that might have been where part of it came from because I was always doing stuff with my toys and, not, and my toys were those three sets. Absolutely. Uh, and those toys led to a great career and, and uh, your impact on this community. Yep. One of the things my mom is the funniest story on my life in first grade, uh, she was concerned about my progress and she went to the teacher and the teacher said, don't worry about Michael. The other kids bring their toys to, to school and Michael fixes them. <laughs> first grade. So, I yeah. mean, uh, Everybody's got a talent. What, what advice would you give our current students as they're working towards their workforce credentials here? Continue at it and get that piece of paper. Um, certification, degree, diploma, whatever it is. Um, and that's what I told the kids when I was teaching is that, that it doesn't make any difference what you do as long as you like it and they're paying you well and if somebody else wants to pay you more, move. Because you'll never catch up if you stay in the old job. And that's what those credentials do. They open doors yeah. for you. When you started, there was probably only a couple of programs initially going. Now we've got over 90 opportunities for people mm -hmm. to, to work. Uh, and we're, you guys set the stage for our success and I'm just so appreciative of of what you did as pioneers in this in this county and how you've used that to better the lives of others. Yeah, another thing, every little piece of paper, every job skill or whatever uh, uh, has an impact on your life. You know, you and I were talking earlier about, you know, what it took and it was commitment. You know, commitment oh. to your future and commitment to the workforce and but the opportunities are here and, and you are sitting here as a, a great example of starting here at this, this institution when it was first being developed, having the confidence in yourself and giving this college a chance to uh, help you achieve your dreams. Yes, and, and, and what I got here uh, assisted at Appalachian, it assisted in the Army, um, um, teaching and uh, Appalachian had a, a philosophy in industrial arts, if you can't do it, you can't teach it. Yep. And I mean, you see that all through here. No question about it. And I, I could do uh, the drafting part and a lot of other little things before I even got there. Well, Michael, thank you so, so much for coming back to thank your you. campus and spending time with us. Michael McCree, 1962 graduate of the Catawba County Industrial Education Center, which is now Red Hawk Nation, and this is Hawk Talk.